Hello, today I am going to show you how to define a self-referencing table in NT framework and how to insert data and get data as a tree structure uh, using an API. You can see in here uh, we have a root a node called node1 and there can be sub nodes like node2, node3 and node4. Or oh, like this there can be uh, multiple root nodes and sub nodes. Once it mapped to the database, it will be like this in the database. For the first slide, uh, it will be like this. And for the second slide that I showed you, uh, it, once it mapped to the database, it will be like this. And uh, let's move to the implementation of this. And uh, I will put the repository link in the description so you can refer it. I have already uh, created a new web application. And uh, let's add a model called Node. This variable holds list of sub nodes. Let's add the parent node details. Let's define the self-referencing relationship in the DB context class. So in here, uh, subnodes has many relations uh, with one pair or not and we define our relationships a foreign key as parent ID I'm going to use this database for this uh, application uh, let's add a migration and update our database As you can see, self-referencing relationship is created successfully. Now I'm going to show you how to insert new data and how to build a tree of nodes using a recursive function. Let's create a DTO class to get the data from the post request. Let's add our API controller. I'm going to return an internal server uh, response if the model state is invalid.
Let's create the DB context type variable and get an instant using dependency injection. In here, I'm going to create a new node without setting the parent. If the model has name only, this kind of node become a root node because it's not having a parent. If model have name and the parent ID, then I'm going to add a new mod, new node to the parent node. Let's open up the postman and add new records. I'm going to map uh, this structure in this tutorial. Let's check whether it is working or not. Okay, now uh, it is working. As you can see, data is mapped as we expected. Let's create a recursive function that will build a tree of node objects.
let's create a get method to use this function. As you can see, it's working. I hope this video will help your projects and have a nice day.